Welcome to Nick and Nancy's Crafts. Please subscribe if you're new and drop a like if you like the video. Thanks. Enjoy. Hi, today we're rust dyeing. Nick placed all the rust into the t-shirt and now he's wrapping it with rubber bands. We have to wrap the whole thing in rubber bands to hold all the rusty objects into the t-shirt. All right, so Nick is finishing rubber banding the rusty objects that are inside of the t-shirt. And pretty soon we'll be ready to soak it in vinegar and water solution. Okay, now we're ready to put the vinegar solution over top of the tea. Okay, now we're ready to put the vinegar solution over top of the t-shirt. How much? All of it. All of it. This was already used before, but we're just using it again because it's still good. Nick's going to cover the whole thing using all the solution. And then we're going to leave it sit for a couple hours and turn it and then see how it looks. It's got to be completely saturated. Now we're going to make a scarf out of a old t-shirt with rust dye. Cut the t-shirt all the way across. Okay, we'll save this for something else. Now we have the t-shirt part. Now we're going to take a can a rusty can. Put it around the t-shirt. I think we can go around the t-shirt maybe one time. Hold it down. Fold it around again. And now we'll go get our rubber bands. Now we're going to flip this t-shirt that Nick did. Tell them what time. And it. it's, it's been in there for, oh, I don't know, almost an hour. We're just going to flip it over to the other side to soak it. And maybe we'll throw in the scarf and get half of it done. And then when the t-shirt is, Nick's t-shirt is done, then we'll flip it again. Okay, it's been soaking for a while, and now we're gonna put it in a plastic bag and seal up the plastic bag and leave it sit outside for mm, at least a day or two. Tomorrow we'll check it and see how much rust is on it. Now the other one that I did earlier, the t-shirt is soaking in the rust solution and we'll see how that turns out in a little while. Okay, we're going to check out Nick's right now and see how Nick's looks. Nick, is it dark enough for you? Yeah, it's dark enough. Should we unwrap it or should we leave it dry, air dry first? Um, let's unwrap it. Okay. okay, we're going to take the rubber bands off like we did the other one. All right, we're gonna to undo some of these rubber bands to see how this looks. If we can get them off, okay. If we can use the rubber bands again, that would be great. It's not totally dry, but I think if we pull it off, I don't want it too, too dark. Then we'll leave it dry out and see what we got before we wash it. Boys, these rubber bands are tough. That one just broke. It's okay. It just means that we can't use it again. It's cold out here. Okay, after the rusty thing is dry then you 
soak it and rinse it in salty water. And try to get all the other rust particles out. this one real quick. After you rinse them both out in the salty water, Dump the salty water, rinse them again in plain water. All right, now we're just gonna put a little water with some Dawn fish soap in it. To wash it. Some of that rust is still in there. I have to soak it for a while. Okay, we're going to soak these for a little while. See if some of those really hard areas with rust in it come out. <laughs> 